Hello, welcome to the Gym RPG Show. So the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X and the 5900X are about to be released pretty soon and there were some benchmark results released today that showed some pretty impressive performance for these two CPUs. Now these are unofficial results but they look like they're roughly lining up to most people's expectations. Alright, let's get to the source of the information and it was Tom Apisak who posted on Twitter about these Geekbench results. So he says that the Geekbench score for the 5950X has a single core score of 1575 and a multi core score of 13605. The 5900X has a higher single core score with a score of 1605 and a lower multi-core score of 12869 and that's to do with the fact that the 5900X has 12 cores and 24 threads and the 5950X is the 16 core 32 thread model. So it should perform better in multi-core. Now the Geekbench page also has other performance metrics but I'll leave those for you to discover on your own and I'll leave a link in the description down below. Moving on, we should compare the single core and multi core scores for these new CPUs with existing CPUs so that we can get a gauge on the performance increase that we're likely going to get with these CPUs. So here we have the AMD Ryzen 9 3950X, which was the strongest AMD CPU previously, not including Threadripper CPUs, obviously. Now, these are user submitted scores. So it says here that uh, the data on this chart is gathered from user submitted Geekbench 5 results in the Geekbench browser. So I'm making a guess here, but this could very well be an average of the user submitted scores for the 3950X, whereas for the 5950X and the 5900X, that was just the one user submitted score. Okay, so if we just look at the Matisse benchmarks, which are AMD's previous generation of CPUs, we see that the 5900X with the score of 1605 is way higher than the previous high score from the Ryzen 7 3800 XT, which had a score of 1354. And that's an increase on the last generation of about 18%. And the 5950X is not far behind with a single core score of 1575. Now the 5950X does boost higher than the 5900X, but not by a whole lot, just by 0.1 gigahertz. So the 5950X might be affected by other things in the CPU. It could be an IO issue or an infinity fabric issue, or maybe the um, extra cache issue that now that the 5900X is seeing the extra 32 megabytes of cache, um, and then the 5950X is also seeing a similar amount of cache, perhaps uh, the 5900X is able to benefit a little bit more than the 5950X. Overall, this is a pretty amazing result for single core performance because if you look at the 5900X and the 3900X, it's about 25% faster in single core performance, which is really great for gamers. Now, in terms of multi-core score results, I think this is a pretty interesting set of results. It shows that the 3950X with a score of 14,097 points is actually higher than the 5950X and I'm not sure if that the 5950X multi-core score is 100% correct. If you look at the other scores in the chat, it roughly shows about 1,000 points per core. So the 5900X has about 12,000 points for the 12 cores it has. And for example, the 3700X has about 8,000 points for its eight cores. And the 3600 has about 6,000 points for its six cores. So I think there might have been something wrong with the uh, 5950X score, but I thought um, the other results were seemed like they were correct. So I decided to make this video anyway, but I'm thinking that the 5950X will probably have a multi-core score of about 16,000. So perhaps when there are more user submitted scores, this figure for the 5950X multi-score will end up changing. Now for people who want to compare the Intel scores, I've got a screenshot of the 10900K and it has a score of 1412 in single core performance. Now remember the AMD Ryzen 9 5900X was 1605, so it still comfortably beats the 10900K by about 200 points. And in terms of multi-core performance, the AMD Ryzen 9 5900X is a 12-core CPU, so it should perform much better than the i9-10900K's 10 cores. 
And finally, just for completionist sake, I've got the multi-core scores for all of the processors. And of course, the thread rippers are right on top. And the 3990X has a score of 25,000 points. So obviously the 5950X and the 5900X were never going to beat that. And it wasn't going to anyway. But I guess it's good to know how far behind the 5900X and the 5950X is. All right, that's it for this one. Make sure to click on the like button if you like this video and also to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one.